With the Tipo, Fiat has an especially low-priced car in the compact class. The station wagon version has a starting price of just under 16,000 euros, well below that of competitors like the Astra Sports Tourer or the Golf variant. But here we're testing a more expensive version, the Lounge, with the highest of three trim lines. Automatic air conditioning and light alloy wheels are standard. Car tester Andre Zimmermann says the Tipo is not really his cup of tea. It starts when you get in. The material used for the door cladding and middle tunnel just cry out cheap. Then the clutch is too loose. Andre finds himself pressing the metal every time he shifts. He's sure that would get old fast. And the gear shift. It feels like stirring a spoon in pudding, so there's plenty of room for improvement. Our test car with the 1.4 T-Jet engine starts at 19,000 euros in Germany. It accelerates from 0 to 100 in under 10 seconds. Good enough for a station wagon in its price category. Andre says you clearly see why the Tipo is so low priced. So many might choose to save a bit longer and get a station wagon that's a bit more upmarket. But sometimes things don't go as planned and then a very low priced station wagon can be just what you need. Expectant parents need room, but most station wagons cost at least 17,000 euros. The Tipo offers a solid trim line and 550 liters of cargo space. Andre says a stroller fits in the trunk easily with space left over for shopping bags. He admits that the Tipo did a good job here. The Tipo station wagon is 20 centimeters longer than the five-door version because of the big trunk. The Tipo doesn't look cheap from the outside. Now Andre wants to see how easy it is to install a children's seat with the Isofix system. Only the two outer back seats have Isofix anchoring for car seats. This could clearly have been better designed, Andre complains. There are no real slits to accommodate the Isofix, and the upper edge of the upholstery protrudes right where it shouldn't, so finding the slits is a matter of luck. Ah. It seems like forever before he finally secures the Isofix, says Andre. Once you have the base installed, if you don't take it out, securing the child seat goes faster, he says. But then the front seat passenger can't move his seat back very far. Except for the cheap materials, the Tipo's interior is okay. A sat-nav is available for a bit more money, and operating the center console is very intuitive. Just because this is cheap doesn't mean it does without technology, Andre says. His favorite is the adaptive cruise control, even if it costs more than in the Gulf variant. The low starting price makes up for that. But all the buttons are a problem. The center console is very clear, but the steering wheel is just plastered with buttons. There's not only a button for the cruise control, but also another for the adaptive cruise control. There are more than 20 buttons on the steering wheel, six of them on its back. So you can't even see them. A disaster, says Andre. The suspension is very soft. That makes it spongy in curves, but on the other hand, comfortable on long trips. The Tipo station wagon has plenty of room and a very attractive starting price, but Andre isn't enthusiastic. He calls it a very sensible car, but he's not a sensible car buyer. 
People who aren't emotional about driving will do fine with the Tipo, he says. But Fiat could have put a bit more love for detail into it.